Well, hello guys. It's been a while. Um, coffee. Um, I had surgery about a month ago and so I just didn't really didn't really work on anything. I had a hernia repair and uh, the medication I was on I really couldn't focus on doing anything but a few weeks after that once I was you know better moving around better and just having a bit more energy I was able to get some things done so I do want to say hello to some new subscribers I noticed I've had a few come join us so hi my name is Esmeralda and uh, <coughs> I only crochet I've tried knitting but still haven't have gotten the hang of it so I haven't tried in a while that's something I still want to be able to do um, but in the meantime I crochet it's what I love to do and I'll show you some completed items that I did while in recovery it's, they're not very many because I also was working on a blanket that I've had going on for a long time so this is a baby blanket. <clears throat> it's in that um, Lime brand Pound of Love. Is that what it's called? Yes, because I have another one going. And I forget the color of it. But the first five sections is broken up in, in five sections doing the moss stitch every 10 rows and then I do a half double crochet and then the 10 rows of moss stitch going 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 and then the middle section here I have uh, I don't know if you could see that I have the um, cross stitch it makes like the X shape and then again I finish off with the moss stitch so and it used the whole skein <clears throat> I think I have about <clears throat> six inches left of the yarn so it took the whole yarn so I have that done and I have these two hats done this yarn was given to me so I don't know the name of it it didn't have a ball band um, but I used this to make um, that I don't know what you call it that mermaid cat I used some of this to make that and then the rest I used to make beanies I made this one first so the whole thing is in that I made this one second and I didn't have enough to make the brim so I got the color that was closest to the blue in here and made this one so I got these two And then I made this little cowl and again I don't know the colorway of this one because it was given to me but it's very pretty it's got little um, it's like an Aran type color but it's got the little fuzzies there it kind of reminds me of that eyelash yarn but it, it's not really it's just kind of I don't know if you could see that I'm not in my craft room because I had to sleep in my recliner while I was recovering can you see the little specks there I don't know it almost looks like there's hair crocheted in there <laughs> that's that's what it reminds me of when I look at it but I don't know anyway so I have my chair out here because that's where I slept while I was recovering and so now I'm in the process of making another baby blanket with that pound of this one is in pastel green I don't know what color that is I threw the well, I don't think I threw the ball band away I just don't know where it went <laughs> but this one I'm doing in the mini bean stitch and that's how I'm gonna do it all the way until it's done so that's what it looks like so far
And then this, I had frogged. This is in a cotton, that wheel cotton. I had won this yarn from Heidi, um, the vegan crafter, who I miss seeing, and I hope you're doing well. I had made a little shawl, and it was in the round, and I liked it. I just didn't like the way it sat when I put it on. So I um, frogged it and decided to make a triangle one. And let me see if I can remember what I used here. This part here, these are all double crochets, and then, or not double crochets, half doubles. And then on this section here, I break it up by a half double, chain one, skip one, half double. And then here, what do I got going? Is it a V-stitch? I think this is a V-stitch. I wish I knew. I don't know. For those of you who are new, I do not read patterns. I do not follow patterns. Everything I do, I do freehand. And I don't write anything down. So nothing I make is ever duplicated because of that reason. Unless I'm making basic beanies and stuff like that but when i make shawls i make them so different and i just do what comes up i tried writing a pattern one time for something i was making and it just it's not fun for me it's not fun to stop write and then if you find a mistake or the count isn't working out you have to read i just i don't work that way i just pick up a hook and crochet so i don't remember what i did here but it's something <laughs> this what is this okay this I do remember okay right here we got the cross stitch for one row and then a V stitch cross stitch on this green section here let me hold this a little bit better so you can see this section here and then this from here to where it breaks up again is a V stitch and this here I don't know what it is but it's a stitch I just don't know what I did I think I accidentally did something and I liked the way it turned out so I kept doing it so I don't know if you can tell what that might be. <laughs> but, yeah. And then these two sections here, I'm doing the moss stitch. I have a little bit to go. Here is what I have left. And I'm doing the moss stitch for that last section. I want to go to Hobby Lobby and see if I could find this colorway. Because if I can, I want to make it bigger. If not, that's okay. I'll just wear it this way. And see? So, and now, my blanket. I got a lot done on this blanket. Because I worked on this for a while before I even did all this. Because like I said, this has been going on for a long time. I think while I was in recovery, I put three cakes. Three cakes in. And I'm using uh, H hook. And the blanket is in the moss stitch, the whole thing. And this is uh, the cupcake in the colorway Tundra. And it is huge. This is folded in half. It's a huge blanket. It's going on my king size bed. And I think the last time you saw it, I was like right here. So all, all from here, all this, I did while I was recovering. And then when I got tired of doing that, I moved on to these little pieces. Yep. So that is it. That it's, that's all I have to show you. Um, 
I'm trying to get myself back into a routine. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we just got back from visiting my father-in-law too. So <laughs> went from recovering to starting to get things back to normal to visiting my father-in-law. So now I gotta, <sighs> I gotta really get some work done because it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just, you know, once, I mean, not doing anything for such a long time, you get really comfortable <laughs> and it's hard to get back into the rhythm of things. So that's where I'm at right now. And I thought I'd jump on real quick and show you this before it just went too longer. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, evening, whatever time it is wherever you're at and uh, that you're all doing well I've been trying to catch up on some YouTubing I really didn't much I didn't really much <laughs> I didn't uh, watch much YouTube while I was recovering recovering only because my meds kept me sleepy and drowsy and I would fall asleep and then I'm like oh great I missed a whole video and I don't know I'm looking at this because there was a one of my hairs crocheted in there so I had to pull that out in my house you don't get dog hair you get my hair <laughs> anyway um it was hard to keep up because I kept falling asleep but I've been I've been watching here and there trying to catch up with you guys been enjoying that so anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna see if my little man, baby, are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah? You want me to make you something or are you gonna have one of your quick meals? Soup. You want me to make you some soup? Okay. All right, I'm gonna make my little man some soup. Um, hope you all just have a good weekend and um, I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.